Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4 and not to any of Fallout 4's DLCs, but just to the base game. Now in this video I'm going to explain and show how to get Fallout 4's ever so secret third unlockable hairstyle. Now this groovy cut is known as the Anchorage haircut. Now it is not at all hard to acquire, but I'm sure most of you have it without actually knowing you have it. And then after we take a look at it, I'm going to be talking about Bethesda's receding hairline. It'll make sense in a couple of minutes. So to put it quite simply, to unlock the Anchorage hairstyle, all you need to do is find the two existing LeCoif magazines in-game. To get the first one, we need to come to the Fallon's department store, which on the Pip-Boy map can be found to the south of Diamond City. Once inside, we want to head to the third floor, and over against the west wall, well, there is this small room and on the table is the LeCoif magazine. As we can see on the cover, this is the Megaton hair. And of course, be sure to pick it up to unlock this hairstyle. And secondly, we need to come to the Charlestown Laundry. On the Pip-Boy map, this can be found just about between Bunker Hill and the USS Constitution. And as soon as you walk through the door inside a shopping basket, we will find the second LeCoif magazine. As we can read the title, The Hornet's Nest. Once again, be sure to pick it up to unlock this hairstyle. Now the reason this Anchorage hairstyle is so secret is because there is literally no message, no warning, no notification that you've actually unlocked it. In the files there is a magazine for it, but this was never placed into the game, and as we know it is unlocked by acquiring the two previous magazines. So again, you probably have already unlocked this without even knowing. Sneaky sneaky Bethesda. So provided we picked up the two magazines, now when we go to a hairdresser, Right about in the middle of the list, we will find the Anchorage hairstyle. This looks the same on both male and female heads. So let's take a quick look at this hairstyle. The top looks pretty good. It very closely resembles the Urban Ranger hairstyle, which is probably most easily remembered as Arthur Maxon's hairstyle. But then we move on to the sides of the haircut. Quite strange, I don't know why there's three lines shaved into the side of the head, especially with the name Anchorage. I did play the Fallout 3 DLC, Operation Anchorage, and I do not remember anyone in that DLC having this hairstyle. Feel free to correct me if I am wrong. But again, I don't remember it, and from that, I don't know why this hairstyle has the Anchorage name. Now, although there are three stripes on the side of the head, it does actually not look too bad. There are some angles that make it look pretty damn goofy, but there are also other angles that make it look pretty damn cool. So now let's talk about Bethesda having some hair troubles. So as we know, in-game, there are two unlockable hairstyle magazines that we can pick up. Of course, picking up both unlocks his third Anchorage style. Now, in the game files, the Anchorage style had its own magazine, right here. Why it wasn't placed in game, I do not know. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Oh, is that right, John? The hairstyle of my dreams? Well, what about this hairstyle and this hairstyle? Hmm, where are these hairstyles, John? Oh yes, that is correct. There are not three unlockable hairstyles. There were to be five. But for reasons unexplained, these two styles and their magazines were cut from the game. Why? Does Bethesda plan on releasing the Super Salon DLC? The Wasteland Barbershop expansion? Introducing combs, hairspray, barbers' chairs, and... Three new hairstyles, all for just five dollars. In all seriousness, if they do not plan on introducing these hairstyles with the Nuka World DLC, they're just wasted. I don't know why they weren't put into the game. What's wrong, Bethesda going bald? Hmm? Why would you cut this stuff? It, it's here, it's done. Two things that could be happening, again, they could be using the bread slicing method, which is where they give you 90% of the game and then hold back 10% of the game for DLC content. An excellent example of this is the Wasteland Workshop DLCs. Stuff that isn't really worth $5 as a standalone DLC, let alone two of them at a combined $10, when it's just stuff that doesn't really make us want to play the game anymore, and it's also just stuff that really should have been in the base game. So, on a very small scale, they could be doing that with these hairstyles, holding them back, planning to add them to a future DLC, which is bad, but I would at least like to see them in-game. Or secondly, something even worse is just that they've just simply cut them out of the game for no reason. Now that's worrying. Maybe they just wanted to not flood the game with heaps of magazines. But in that case, you could make the hairstyles unlockable by other interesting methods. For example, getting a quest from John the Barber to head out into the wasteland and find some rare bottles of hairspray, these legendary pre-war artifacts, to create the ultimate hairstyles. Upon returning with the hairspray, he gives you a magazine or just simply unlocks this new hairstyle. But just cutting it out of the game is kind of boring. 
and it's a waste. Anywho, let's untangle ourselves from this rather hairy situation and be happy that we have the two unlockable magazine hairstyles and this third secret anchorage hairstyle. I do genuinely hope that this video helped you out in some way, gave you some food for thought, and also explained where that mysterious anchorage hairstyle came from in your game. I've been Camel and I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see videos similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you love being annoyed constantly by notifications, be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link can be found in the description. Or you can just search Camelworks. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, be sure to let me know in the comments comments what you think about this hairstyle phenomenon and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.